Okay, so I'm asking Angela to serve her serve the normal way before we were doing the corrections because later we want to show the corrections. So just go ahead, Angela, just do your serve before the correction. And uh, the thing that's missing at this serve is the so-called shoulder over shoulder technique or actually the shoulder coming down a little bit too soon. So a good way to work on that is to actually exaggerate. So Angela will do the exercise now. Okay, maybe I show first. So the shoulder over shoulder technique means that when we're hitting the ball, we have to stay like this for a while. So many players actually, as soon as they hit the ball, they want to level down. Maybe they're anxious to see what's going on. Maybe we're so used to, I'm not sure, we're so used to being like this. We also feel that we can push the ball down and we have some strength, but that will all mess up the surf technique. The correct surf technique is actually staying in this position for a while until the follow through finishes and then we level into this position. So to give the players a feel for this tilted position and shoulder above shoulder or shoulder over shoulder, I just ask them to lie down. Okay Angela, so you just go on your side like this. Yes. Uh, like this. Yeah, okay, so yeah, like this, you're on this side, so I give you the ball and you're just trying to hit the ball and get a little bit more familiar, yes, with what it means to be on the side, what it means to be on the side and to look up at the ball from the side. Okay, very good. So now try and apply that in your serve. Okay, so before you, you go for a full serve, you just want to feel this position. So ideally you want to feel when you're serving from this position. You want to stay in keeping the head up because the head controls the shoulder. So if you want to level the head too quickly, the shoulders are going to level. So you want to keep the head sideways, that will keep the shoulders sideways. So for a first exercise, you want to hit the ball, keep your head sideways and feel that the racket has come down to the follow through and then you can level so you try a few slow ones it's okay we can cut those out <laughs> there we go Or maybe we won't. We need to see, show the reality of the difficulty of exercise. Yes. So you're just staying sideways as if you're lying on the side. Yes, and allowing the follow through to finish before you level your shoulders. Okay, very good. Now see if you can apply that or like implement that in your surf. So here's another view of the shoulder over shoulder. So the first service, the first serve I'm going to show is not doing that. So most people want to go in this position, then they want to go down very quickly in where the shoulders are level or horizontal. So they're doing like this very quickly. Whereas shoulder over shoulder means I am staying up like this and then I'm leveling down. So I'm going like this and leveling. So when I do that quickly, it's not so obvious and because I'm quickly in this position the, and when you're watching the pro you misinterpret what's going on because this part happens very quickly and don't see that through the shot the player actually stays stays up so oftentimes I'll tell the player stay up stay up with your head stay up with your shoulder finish the shot complete the serve then you can level
It's very good. So what does this do for you? Like what you feel different? It helps to keep the ball up. Like it doesn't come down too fast. So you mean the service higher doesn't yeah. go in the net? Yeah. Okay. What else? Cleaner. Okay, cleaner hit. Out. Yeah, okay, good. So there's this tendency, right, this anxiety to, as soon as we serve, we want to look down, return is coming and so on, but we just have to delay for a split second to complete the motion on the ball, and then we can start playing tennis. So very important for this shoulder over shoulder. I find it, it's a little bit unnatural because we're so used to walking with our shoulders like this, so as soon as we go in this position, you want to go down back into this position very quickly. But that's not how a real serve is. So the real serve technique is staying through the shot in this position because we need to rotate the shoulders in this axis. So when we hit forehands and backhands, we want to rotate the shoulders in this axis. When we hit serve, we want to rotate the shoulders in this axis. Whereas most people think they're just going to pull down like this, feel very strong. I'm going to pull down and hit the ball, but there here is no shoulder rotation. So shoulder rotation is more like this. And this shoulder rotation provides us with a very smooth and very powerful motion. So practice that, let me know how it goes.